Hello all, this is Ashish. This is Isaac. Today we are discussing about night vision devices. Night vision is a very essential upgrade for our infantry. For example, if a terrorist group is inside a building and our soldiers need to eliminate them, night vision plays a key role in decreasing the casualties suffered by our armed forces. Or night vision can be particularly important for surveillance. So today we are going to look at night vision devices and what all goes into making of them. Vision in dark can be achieved by mainly two ways, thermal imaging or image enhancement. Thermal imaging A special lens focuses the infrared light emitted by all of the objects in view. This is the lens. And the focused light is scanned by a phased array of infrared detector elements. The detector elements create a very detailed temperature pattern called a thermogram. It only takes about 1 30th of second for the detector array to obtain the temperature information to make the thermogram. This is the infrared detector. This information is obtained from several thousand points in the field of view of the detector array. The thermogram created by detector elements is translated into electric impulses. The impulses are sent to a signal processing unit, a circuit board with a dedicated chip that translates the information from the elements into data for the display. This is the signal processing unit. The signal processing unit sends the information to the display where it appears as various colors depending on the intensity of the infrared emission. The combination of all the impulses from all of the elements creates the image. Now Isaac will explain about image enhancement. Image enhancement as the name suggests enhances or intensifies the image that we already have. So I will explain about the processes using the diagram in the next slide. So there is an existing ambient light always in our atmosphere. So this lens we have will take in the existing ambient light and then it will be shown onto a photocathode. Photocathode then converts all the photons that were existing in the ambient light and converts them into electrons. These electrons are then sent into a microchannel plate <coughs> which multiplies the number of electrons. As you can see clearly from the diagram the number gets greatly multiplied and these electrons then strike a phosphor, uh, phosphor screen which will then produce an intensified image in green color. So why, why we have, have we chosen the green? The reason we chose the green was uh, our eye is more receptive and responsive to that color. Now the most important part in this whole uh, setup is how are we not changing the spatial position? How are we, how, how are these uh, electrons not multiplied in some random way? How is not noise created? This is essentially achieved by a microchannel plate. As you can see from the diagram, a microchannel plate consists of very small channels. These channels uh, of very low diameter will help, will channel the electrons. So each time an electron strikes the wall of this channel, a new electron gets created. The orientation of the microchannel plate is a little bit tilted from the direction of propagation so as to maximize the collisions. So as we can see readily, the electrons that enter into a specific channel will also exit through the same channel and will travel uh, parallel to its axis, thus decreasing the noise and preserving the spatial distribution which is very important for a clear and nice picture. In modern night vision devices, we use auto gates which automatically control the amount of photons that hit the photonic plates so that these devices can be used even in light, in areas where light is high. This increases the versatility of these devices because now we can use them in a building where there will be fluctuations of dark areas, light areas, dark areas, light areas. These are predominantly used in our Indian Army. Procurement for NVDs was initiated as early as 2012 when the Defense Ministry started the process. In February 2014, the Defense Acquisition Council headed by the then Defense Minister A.K. Anthony cleared the procurement of 
thermal imaging sites for tanks and infantry combat vehicles and handheld thermal imagers for the Indian Army soldiers. The Indian Army currently uses Israel origin handheld thermal imagers that allow the soldiers to see the suspects in total darkness. These are the references. Thank you.